If I offer to personally help you get your coloring book idea out of your head and into your hands in the next 30 days, using the exact same process that helped me create and publish my first book in five days, then leverage my status as a newly published author to launch and leverage it to create two additional income streams in less than six months, allowing me to make more money faster than relying solely on one-off book sales on Amazon or Etsy. And I did it with no formal art training or prior design experience. Would you be interested? Hi, my name is Rodney, creator of the Coloring Book Creator Podcast. My first coloring book, Never Too Late to Make It Happen, inspired me to launch my first paid membership community and online course and coaching program that has helped over a dozen first-time authors create and publish over 30 titles and counting while opening the door for a portfolio of additional income streams like launching a subscription box landing paid speaking opportunities and offline teaching positions, and creating online courses and paid workshops. So the only question is, are you next? If you answered yes, shoot me a text to 415-851-1222. Again, that's 415-851-1222 and says, yes, I heard you on the podcast and I'll respond within 24 hours with details on how to take advantage of this offer. Talk soon. You're listening to the Coloring Book Creator Podcast, Episode 48. And the topic for this episode is a special one. Your creator biz is tap dancing on the brink of disaster if you ignore this. Stay tuned. Now that might sound rather dramatic, but it is true. Now what am I talking about? Simply, I'm talking about not having an email list. Now, I know you've probably heard that a million times, but it keeps being said because it's true. I'll share an example with you. Last year, a very prolific creator in our space had all of her Amazon listings taken down. I'm talking dozens of titles that reportedly were generating thousands of dollars in monthly recurring revenue without warning and no reason given, at least in the beginning ultimately resulting in her losing tens of thousands of dollars in future lost revenue. But it actually got worse. Royalties that were already due her were frozen as well. Now let that sink in. Your business literally being shut down overnight with no reason given. Eventually, the author was able to partially get their KDP account reinstated. KDP is the acronym for Kindle Direct Publishing, which many of you will be publishing your books using that platform. But I recently checked before I recorded the accompanying podcast episode that you're listening to now, and I was disappointed to say that the account has never really fully recovered from what it used to be before the shutdown. That ultimately meant that years of hard work building the brand, creating content, being consistent that brought thousands of loyal fans joy and sales for her just simply vanished. Now, this example just goes to confirm what I constantly tell my coloring book creator mentor members. Amazon in and of itself is just really a fulfillment center. It's an efficient one, but if unbeknownst to you, you violate one of their terms of service, your business could be eradicated overnight. Now, let me be clear. I am absolutely not saying don't work with Amazon, more specifically their Kindle Direct program. But I absolutely cannot stress enough the utter importance of avoiding building dependency on any single platform. As a matter of fact, I go into depth on the subject of safeguarding your creator's biz on episode 11 of the podcast, where I talk about what's ahead for coloring book creators in 2023 and 10 ways to protect yourself financially and safeguard your business. So I do recommend you go back and listen to that episode. Now, what I'm sharing here with this episode is echoing much of what I shared in that episode. It is vital to the health of your business, as well as your emotional well-being, to not build dependency on any platform. 
Yes, that includes any print-on-demand services, any sales platforms like Amazon or Etsy, payment processors like PayPal or Stripe, even contract workers like freelance graphic designers or website builders, and definitely not social media platforms. And for that, take your pick. Now, again, this brings me to the focus of this episode of the podcast. Like Amazon, as I mentioned, your social media accounts could be closed down without warning or recourse. Facebook and Instagram have a notorious reputation for closing down accounts every day, leaving many content creators never knowing why. Some manage to get them back, but unfortunately, more often than not, it's rare, leaving no other option but to start from scratch. But do you know what can't be shut down, at least rarely, if ever, unless you get too many spam complaints? Your email list. The prolific Amazon author I spoke of earlier fortunately was able to communicate with their email list and alert their customers about what had happened. That coupled with the very supportive Facebook group community, they were able to keep their customer and fan base informed of what was going on. The bottom line is this. We never know what tomorrow will bring. Things can be moving along swimmingly when all of a sudden, out of the blue, a major shift can't and eventually will happen. That's why as creative entrepreneurs, we absolutely must be nimble and position ourselves to pivot quickly when necessary. The bottom line, if you're doing business, period, whether online or off, You must have a variety of methods to stay in communication with your clients and your customers. And email is one of the most tried and true ways to do that, which brings me to the question I get all the time from current and budding book creators. How? How do I set up, let alone grow an email list? Now, if you're listening to this podcast, and I'm also creating an accompanying PDF, which you also, if you're listening to the podcast, you can download that from the show notes. I'll put the link in the show notes if you want to read as well as listen to what I'm saying, but I'm creating some, doing something special here. I'm testing something new. So again, the question that comes is how do I set up, let alone grow an email list? Now, if this isn't a question that you are asking, it's one that you should be asking. Because again, as I've mentioned multiple times, building dependency on a single platform that you don't control, especially any social media, is playing a dangerous game. So I created a way to fix that. I feel so strongly about this subject that I've decided to host a new two-day boot camp I'm calling How to Set Up a Simple One-Page Website Designed to Help You Pre-Launch or Relaunch Your Book as you're creating it. Now, you may be asking, why a simple one-page website? Many creators don't have a website at all, especially if they're just starting out. But I will tell you now, you need some kind of online presence that, again, you control. And your website, even if it's a one-page website, as long as you pay the bill every month, you control that website. The bottom line is you need a place where you can direct traffic from all of your other combined marketing and promotional efforts, inviting them to connect with you. And yes, you can always just ask someone to give you their email address if you meet someone in person, but you need a place in order to hold all of those addresses. In other words, you need a reliable container that not only can hold, but manage those contacts. And I address all of that as well in the boot camp. And that is going to be the focus of this new workshop series. Because it's not as much about creating a one-page website, as much as it is about setting up an automated system to manage permission-based contacts that give you the option to reach out to them anytime you want without fear of your account being shut down or frozen or anything of that nature. And the only instance where that could potentially happen is if you are filling your database with email addresses from people that have not expressly said that they want to hear from you. 
So you can't just go randomly adding people to this account. They must have said, I want to hear from you. So either you send them to a one page website and they fill out the information themselves, or you collect the information verbally or someone hands you a business card and you let them know that you will be reaching out to them via your newsletter or what have you. And then you can manually add those names into your database. And I talk about that as well. Also in the bootcamp. All righty. So again, as I said, it's not as much about creating a one page website as setting up an automated system that you can reach out to at any time you want with opportunities like announcements of new releases, new books, contests, or giveaways. Announcements of forthcoming live or virtual events where you'll be appearing. Alerts of new content you've either published or had on any social media platforms that you have out there. So content you published on, say, Instagram, you can then alert your email list about that new content on, say, Instagram or TikTok or wherever you are posting content. Or if something's been written about you on someone else's platform, you can also direct your email list to that content where they can learn more about you and your recent accomplishments. Now, let's say for an example, you've been featured on, say, a podcast or a blog, or perhaps you got a magazine feature like coloring book creator, mentor member, and newly published author, Lisa Dolson, who is episode 38. You can learn more about her by listening to that episode and her recently published book. Now, she was recently featured in a print magazine, and she did a post on her Instagram about that feature. So she can send an email to her list, directing them to that post where they can see her flipping through the magazine that featured her and her surface and pattern designs. Other things that you can reach out to your email list about general news and information about your industry or what's going on just in general for you. You can share even personal things. Everything doesn't have to be about business. It can be about trips maybe that you've taken or new experiences that you've had. Maybe you had someone that purchased a product or a book from you and gave you a really great review. You can share that. It's your database, your email list. You can share all kinds of updates and news and information with them. So it's worth taking advantage of. All right. Now, this is another benefit that I rarely talk about, but one that is worth really seriously considering. And I would say one of the number one reasons why you really should be focusing on building up your email list. Over time, if you built a quality list, it is totally possible that you could seek joint venture and collaboration opportunities. I'm going to be talking about more about how to set up collaboration opportunities in the next episode of the podcast. I'll be talking about that soon. Now, why you would want to pursue eventually joint venture and or collaboration opportunities and why you want to build up a good email list. Let's say that you build up a list of a thousand people, even 500 people that have a strong desire and interest in what you have. They are committed to this topic. They want to know more from you because not only as the expert or the author of a book, but you also have an audience of people that respect your opinions about things. So there are other alliances that you could create that you could recommend that person's product or service to your email list. And if your subscriber makes a purchase from you through your email, you could get paid a commission and vice versa. Someone can email on your behalf, recommending your product or service, and they be paid a commission. And these are sales that you can get without you having to really do anything more than just supply them with links and maybe some email copy, which I also talk about in the bootcamp as well. This is something that you'll want to build up over time. It's another great benefit about being prolific about building up your email list, because again, you can open up additional income opportunities for you to joint venture with collaboration partners. It's worth not ignoring for that reason alone. These are just a few examples of why you absolutely must take list building seriously. And it all starts with setting up that simple first one page website. You can have multiple one-page websites, 
and I'll talk about that more in the boot camp, why you would have multiple one-page websites, you'll have different offers. Maybe on one one-page website, you're offering samples from your book. On another one-page website, you're offering maybe a coupon code for something that you're offering on, say, Amazon or Etsy or something like that, or on your own website. You might be interviewed by someone that you really want your list to know about or the list that you're growing to know about. So maybe you want to have another one-page website where you can give that information out. People can subscribe to that list and you will know that the people on that list came from having heard you on this particular show. So the things that you may offer, let's say you do different products. Maybe you decide one day to create a course or mini course or something like that. You would have a variety of multiple one page websites and you can run your business for years before you decide to build a full-fledged website. Now, of course, if you're doing an e-com related business where maybe you have a store on Shopify or again, your own website, then yes, you'll want to flesh out a fully functional website where people can add things to cart and make purchases. But no one can buy anything from you if you don't have a list of people that you can direct to the Shopify store or to the Etsy store or to the Amazon listing. This is something that a lot of creators ignore. They focus on building a website, but not a database. As I've stressed many many times in this uh, episode, you never know what's going to happen. Etsy accounts, Amazon accounts get shut down every single day. I've seen it happen to people that I know, people who are in the industry that I don't really know personally, but I hear about. And you've got to be able to pivot. You've got to be able to say, okay, this has happened, but now I have backup systems. I've got a backup payment processor, a way to collect money, a backup printer. You just have to do these things. It's not smart business to assume because these are big companies and you're a small fish, so to speak, that they're you're just going to slide under the radar and no one's ever going to potentially shut you down. And unfortunately, more often than not, you're never told why. Only thing you can do is start over. But if you've got an email list that you have built and nurtured over time, it makes that reset a whole lot smoother than if you don't have that at all. So if I've piqued your curiosity at all in this whole conversation, Then now I want to tell you what's included in the how to set up a simple one page website designed to help you pre-launch or relaunch your book as you're creating it bootcamp. So we're going to be covering this. First of all, the bootcamp happens live February 21st and 22nd with a bonus add on session for February the 24th on that one. I'm going to talk about in a moment, but we're going to be on the first two days. We're going to talk about the actual structure of setting up the one page website, as well as the email list. And you can rinse and repeat this as many different pages as you want to do. All righty. So I'm going to basically just review what you're going, what we're going to cover. We're going to cover what is a one page website and why having one is essential to starting and growing your email list. I've already talked about that throughout this whole episode. I'm also going to go into what makes a good one page website. What elements should and which ones should not be on your site? This is very important. How to set up automation. So when a new person visits your one page website and enters their contact information, they'll instantly receive your initial offer. We'll talk about offers and ideas for offers to entice someone to give you their contact information. Again, we're going to talk about ideas. We're also going to talk about where to source eye-catching graphics to help make and enhance your one-page website so it really stands out. We're also going to talk about what to do with new subscribers to keep them engaged and opening future emails so that they will continue to want to hear from you and eventually buy your stuff. And then we're going to do a bonus workshop day where I'm going to walk you through how to write a welcome email sequence. I'm also going to be giving you fill in the blank email templates, checklists, and scripts. 
And if that wasn't enough, in addition to everything that I've already shared with you, I'm also going to show you how to set up that email sequence and set it up under automation so you can continue nurturing people. Even when you first get your first subscribers, you will have an email sequence set up in your service, automatically scheduled to send out those first five, six, seven, eight, nine emails or more. So you actually can set it up once and literally kind of set it and forget it and let it do all the work for you on the back end. I'll show you how to do that as well. Once you learn how to do this, you can use this system as the foundation for all of your online marketing efforts. I don't care what you're selling. I hope you're finding value in this episode. I just want to take a moment to tell you about a special workshop I'm hosting called How to Set Up a Simple One-Page Website Designed to Help You Pre-Launch Your Book As You're Creating It, and Here's Why I'm Doing It. So many creative entrepreneurs, unfortunately, make list building a low priority when actually it should be, next to creating your work, one of your highest. Why? Because platforms are changing every second. What's hot right now? Maybe out the window, possibly by the time you finish listening to this episode. But do you know what will never go out of style? Your email list. This is something no one can take away from you. A social media platform or seller can close your account. But with proper preparation and positioning, you can be ready to keep your business going with a simple email. No algorithm worries, no platform freezes. And that's why I created this special workshop. This is not a watch me type training. We are going to be rolling up our sleeves and setting up your first contact list, your one-page website, and a welcome email sequence that will automate so when a new subscriber gives you their contact info, they'll receive your instant response from you. The boot camp will conclude with a special bonus workshop where we'll craft your first welcome email sequence with the power of ChatGPT. And the best part, you get to keep lifetime access to the recordings at the end of each session plus all of my scripts templates and checklist, and it's all yours for just a one-time payment of only $97. So affordable for everything you get. Click the link in the show notes for a complete outline and registration link. And even if you can't make it live, if this training speaks to you, register and I'll personally make sure that you have everything you need to create your first one-page website, launch, and grow your email list. Now back to the episode. Imagine never having to worry about your post not being seen or God forbid one of your suppliers or fulfillment services goes down or is taken away like an Amazon or Etsy or print on demand service that you could possibly be using. You want to have a tried and true method to stay in touch with your people because at the end of the day, I can't stress it enough. This is a foundational, fundamental piece of doing business today, online or off. Brick and mortar businesses must have an email list as well as online. This isn't about online or offline. It's all business. It is a must have essential. A one page website, in my humble opinion, has replaced the business card. It's not about you handing someone off information how to contact you without you being able to collect information from them so you can stay in contact. It must be a two-way conversation from the beginning, from the beginning. So this isn't an option. This isn't fluffy. This isn't, oh, well, I'll wait till I build out my full website. You really must take this seriously. Again, because as I've mentioned numerous times, you we never know what's going to happen with these platforms. You could be going along swimmingly. All of a sudden, your accounts are just gone. You don't want to be in that position where all of that hard work is literally taken from you overnight. I'm not being dramatic. It's happening. It's happened and it will continue to happen. You've got to have a way to safeguard yourself. This is the number one way to do it. All right. So this isn't a nice to have. This is a must have. So again, the how to set up your simple one page website designed to help you pre-launch or relaunch your book as you're creating it is happening Wednesday and Thursday, February 21st and 22nd at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. in the UK, with a bonus session happening on Saturday the 24th 
where we will be talking exclusively about creating content and your automated email sequence that we will program into your autoresponder service. Alrighty. Now, I do want to say this. Oh, before I go on to this next piece, I want to share this. I will also be going over how to use ChatGPT to help you write that email sequence. So if you're concerned about I'm not a writer, you don't feel like you're a writer, you don't have to be. But I'll show you what prompts to use based on your own individual product and story that you can use ChatGPT to assist you in writing those emails. So we'll be doing that. I just want to wrap it by saying that you're going to get all of this. You get the entire live workshop, three days. You're going to get all the recordings automatically. They will be placed in a private Facebook group. You'll get those at the end of each day. You'll get all of my email, quick start scripts, templates, checklist. You'll get the whole kit and it's available to you for just $97. Again, you'll get my eyes on your whole setup. I'll be looking at your screen, looking at what you're doing and telling you, push this button, move this over here, do that, put this in here, set that up over there. We're working. You're not watching me just talking about stuff. We're going to be actually working together and getting things done. So you will leave at the end of this workshop with your whole system set up. And that you can go and rinse and repeat whenever you want, or you can hand it over to a VA and let them do future ones for you if you that's what you prefer to do. You'll get the whole setup for just one payment of $97. I'm going to provide the link in the show notes for you to be able to click over to make that purchase. I'm also going to put the link in this document. If you're reading the document, you can go over there and complete your purchase there as well. Again, $97 to get all of this training all of this access, all of these resources, hand holding me, looking at what you're doing, not just giving you the videos and telling you to go off on your own and go do it. You're actually going to be with me to actually get your questions answered. And I will even make this promise to you as well. Even if you can't make all of the sessions or you have to miss some of the sessions, you will still have access to a private Facebook group where the recordings will be. You can still ask me questions after the boot camp, and I will respond to you. I have a policy that I leave no creator behind. If you have hired me to work with me, I'm going to make sure that you get everything you need. I don't care when it is. So this isn't some limited time thing where if you don't show up, you're on your own. You've got the recordings. Go figure it out. I don't do that. I will make sure that you get all your questions answered. I will make sure that you will be set up. Even if need necessary, we have to hop on Zoom privately. You will have your money's worth. You will be set up properly because I feel that strongly in this topic. And I know it's something that foundationally that you must not ignore. I will even go so far as to say this. Even if you have a website currently, you can still be able to benefit from this training because there are ways that you can potentially embed. And I may be going a little bit advanced here and I apologize for that. But there may be a way for you to embed your forms on your current website, depending upon what your website and what platform it's built on. I have 20 plus years experience with WordPress, so I know that platform very well. I will tell you this, that there is a software that I use to manage all of my one page websites and my email list. It's called Get Response. I will put the link to that in the show notes as well as in this document. You will need to have at least a trial version of Get Response to be able to work alongside me in this workshop. There are so many email management services, but I'm focusing on Get Response. So I will need to give you that caveat so you are aware that that's what we're going to be using. They do offer a 30 day free trial, which you're go able to sign up for that. Check it out. If you find it's not for you, you can cancel before you rebuild. Just for pure sheer transparency, I am an affiliate of Get Response. I must tell you that legally. So if you decide to sign up with an account with them and you keep the account with them, I will be paid an affiliate commission if you decide to stay with them. If you decide to move to another platform, then I wish you well with that. But I don't know all the different platforms that are out there. So how much assistance I may be able to be, I don't know. Probably not much because I don't know all the different platforms and how they're structured, but you can use the basis of what I'm sharing with you in this workshop to pretty much be at least foundationally applicable to most platforms out there that are online that you can potentially use. 
So again, I wanted to make sure that I said that, that, you know, we will be using the Git response software. At the time I'm recording this, they are extending a Valentine's Day special where you can get a 40% off of a monthly membership, which I believe on average up to a thousand subscribers, you can get that for up to $19, I think a month. But with the special right now they're running, I think you can get 40% off of that. So this is a really good time to take advantage of this. If you don't have an email management service already, you want direct support to get everything set up, you get a chance to save some money if you decide to stay with Git Response in this experience and know that you can always come to me, you know, to get additional support. I'm also going to be offering some additional surprise bonuses that I'll be talking about as I get closer to the day of the workshop. A couple of them I'm very excited about that you can use to help you go further beyond our time together. So I'm going to put everything in the show notes here or inside the document if you're reading it. If you have any questions whatsoever before the workshop, feel free to use the links to either direct message me. I'll also put my phone number, which is my text messaging. You can send me a text message and I will respond again if you can't make one or both days, but you really want this training, go ahead and sign up for it anyway. You'll have access to the recordings. And for a very limited time, I will offer one-on-one sessions to help people who maybe had to miss a day or so just to make sure that you get set up on the right foot as well. So again, if you can't make one or both days, but you really know that this is the right step for you, Go ahead and sign up anyway, and I'll make sure that you're taken care of. That I promise that, you know, that we'll get done. All righty. So that's what I have for you. Again, I don't want to alarm you, but I do want to encourage you strongly to take this seriously and to set your business up where it works for you. And if I can be that source of support for you and guidance and coaching and give you the tools that you need to make sure you're set up properly. It would be my honor to help you do it. The how to create your one page website. You want to take advantage of that for just $97. Click the link in the show notes, get registered. I will respond to you within 12 to 24 hours to make sure that you are all properly set up. If it's a yes for you, I will see you on the 21st. I'd love to be able to support you. All right. This is Rodney Washington, your host, signing off.